Hi, let's make Kashmiri Bakar Khani or cookies. Here I have two cups of flour. To that I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt, about two teaspoons of sugar. To add milk as much as required to make a tough dough. I have been kneading this for almost 10 minutes. Now we'll let it rest, cover it with a wet tea towel and leave it for about half an hour to 45 minutes. The dough has relaxed a bit. We knead again. We do this process of kneading and resting for one more time and then we will start rolling out our cookies. My dough has been resting for the second time. Let's cut this into two. I'll take one half now. The other half I'll keep aside. Now we are going to roll this out as thin as possible. A little dusting of flour, though we don't need it. We'll try to roll it in a rectangle. Once you have rolled it out thin, see I can see my fingers through this. We are going to apply generous amount of ghee. Use your hands, brush doesn't work here. Spread it all the way to the edges. Right. Now we will sprinkle flour on it again generously. This will give lot of crispy flakes to our cookie or bakar khani. Okay, now rub the flour into ghee so that you get tiny flakes here. I'll just scrape it off my hand. Now we'll start folding it. We'll fold it once this way, halfway, press it down, and we are going to apply ghee again. Same process. And flour. Now we'll fold this over, press it down, same process, key, and flour. I kept a spoon for the flour but it's pointless, it works better this way. a little messy making this cookie but then it's fun. Pakar Khani with Kashmiri chai it's oh if there's heaven it's here it's here it's here the heaven on earth. We fold whatever we have on our hand slather it here and we fold over again. Okay now we'll let this rest for some time at this stage, you can keep it in the fridge. I would advise to keep it in the fridge so that the uh, ghee solidifies a little. After keeping it in the fridge for 10 minutes, I'm rolling it out again. Same process, one last time. Ghee and flour. This time we'll add a little bit of sugar also, just a little sprinkling. Okay. 
now we take one side and roll a tight roll make a tight roll here make sure that you keep pressing it down so that there is no air trapped inside now we'll cut this into our desired cookie size i'm not making very big cookies small cookies see this is already a cookie kind of a thing so you all you need to do is just press it down tuck that in press it down there you can put it for baking like this or you can flatten it further there and just give it cuts so that it doesn't puff up this is a typical bakar khani cut there this is ready for baking but before that we'll brush it with some milk evenly and sprinkle a bit of sugar very little and poppy seeds just pat it down yeah this is ready for the bake let's do the rest same way bake bakar khani in the oven at 180 degrees for about 15 minutes or till they are golden on top enjoy these crispy treats with kashmiri noon cha beautiful the recipe link is in the description box below do try thank you